In this Minecraft video I will build a wizard's tower. I need this for one of my projects, so I decided why not to make a video out of it for exposure and whatnot. Though technically that's not a wizard's tower, that's a cleric's tower, but cleric's kinda like wizards or priests. I'm not sure about that part of Minecraft lore. And speaking of lore, I like lore. I adore lore. And I put lore in everything that I build. Which in my head is just a justification of why everything exists in the way it exists. So buckle up, cause this video is gonna be in law building with me. First of all, why here? Well, because as you can see here in this spawn, there is a working nether portal. And it's the only working portal in the, not in the whole world probably, but in a very big area. Why? No one knows. Wink wink. I mean, the inhabitants of this world don't know. I know. I'll tell you about that some other time, okay? So. There is a big working nether portal, and naturally, the ruler of the nearby kingdom decided to build here a watchtower for the protection of his people. Though, some might say for the protection of his royal... <coughs> Let's not go sideways. So here comes the tower. But all of that was so far, far away from our days, back when the nearby kingdom was strong and rich and could afford to build watchtowers whenever they wanted. But since then, centuries have passed, the kingdom fell, the governments rose and fell, as well as the watchtower. And in these poor conditions, our watchtower a cleric has found. For the many, many blocks around, this cleric was the bravest out of all known clerics. He was the only one who dared to go to the nether. Y you know, clerics need a blaze powder to make potions. Many other clerics just use ripoffs and brew eh, middling potions. But our cleric wanted to be the best in his job. So he traveled to the nether for the real blaze powder to make real potions. Oh, most of the time he just hired someone to bring him blaze rods. After all, he is a remarkable specialist. He has no time to wander through the hell. He has a job to do. Anyway, the cleric dwelt here and turned this ruined watchtower into his home. I'm pretty sure he just hired someone to do it, but eh, anyway. So this is our wizard slash cleric's tower. It looks heterogeneous. Is, is that a word? And patchy. But all of that is because towers are not made for living and the cleric wants to live here, so he had to adjust everything by his needs. Let's look inside. On the first level we have an entry space with a lot of storage, a small kitchen to make food, and of course the brewing room with some herbs and roots and water supply and a cozy fireplace. Also we have a small greenhouse to grow some delicate crops. On the second level we have a study room where the cleric does his research and writes down everything he learned from his experiences. There is his bedroom, a little boring, but that's a bedroom, it's only purpose to sleep there and store some clothes. Also there is a balcony here, we saw it from outside, let's go higher. On this level we have just a small cozy place for pleasure reading, a cozy sofa, bookshelves and some plants. Also there is a cupboard under the stairs, just in case someone drops a baby on the cleric's porch. And on the high level we have an enchanting room. I don't know if clerics need an enchanting room, but it goes with the whole wizard slash cleric tower wipe, so I made it. And another small balcony here. And that's my wizard's tower. There are all the resources for building if you want to recreate this in your world. Good luck with that, I guess, because it definitely wasn't a tutorial. Just a show off of my amazing building skills. Slash JK, haha. Anyway, bye!